Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Nearly every one of the state's 11.2 million voters can expect something in the mail, a new voter information card, thanks to changing precincts, legislative, or congressional districts. The problem is the cards and new voting information may be a long time coming because of delays in drawing new district lines. New Senate maps are on their way back to the state's highest court, but critics say they still fail fairness guidelines. The Senate maps are a little better, but they're still horrible. <laughs> I think they're vague, vastly unconstitutional. And if the Democrats are right and the Senate blew their second chance to draw the maps, the court will draw them. The court could take up to 60 days. And even if the Supreme Court acts quickly, the congressional maps are still tied up in court as well. Supervisors of elections say it's already getting late to make wholesale changes in voting precincts that may be required under the new maps. Well, we can see that the, the time crunch is, is beginning to come into play uh, for the supervisors to do their jobs of figuring out where people are running the candidates and where people are located who will be voting for those candidates. And the cost of printing and mailing millions of new voter ID cards will cost local taxpayers, not the state, millions of dollars. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.